Today I will be making nitrocellulose from fuming nitric acid. I am doing this from pre-nitrated nitrocellulose which I made in a previous video and from normal cellulose from cotton balls. For the pre-nitrated cellulose I used 4 milliliters of fuming nitric acid and for the cellulose from cotton balls I used 6 milliliters of fuming nitric acid. I decided to move over to the fume hood which is probably a good idea if you're working with fuming nitric acid and this small beaker that I have right now is gonna fall into the water so I'm not gonna do that part of the experiment I'm just gonna go from cellulose So here I am measuring out 6 milliliters of fuming nitric acid which I will be using to nitrate the cellulose from the cotton ball and later I'll measure out 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid. I would like to say at this point it is a good idea not to wear gloves if you're working with fuming nitric acid because remember it will ignite your gloves so don't wear them as I am in the video but later I do put them on when I get out the sulfuric acid I figure it's just a great a good trade-off because I'm working with sulfuric acid that could burn my skin As I mentioned earlier, I'm measuring out 10 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid, and I'm adding this to the nitric acid. You always want to add sulfuric to nitric acid. I get the acid mix pretty cool in an ice bath and then I measure out my one gram of cotton which is actually one cotton ball for the bag that I got and then I slowly add it into the acid mix just making sure it doesn't get too warm which is not usually a problem with nitrocellulose but I did have one one runaway nitration a few years ago and I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen again.
Okay, so after all the cotton has been added and you've mixed it around to make sure all the acid absorbs and soaks into the cotton, you want to set the solution or mix outside of the ice bath and let it sit for around 30 minutes. You can go longer as long as you don't think it'll start to run away or start degrading in the acid, especially from the sulfuric acid, then you're good to wash it and ready for the next step. Here I'm just neutralizing the acids with sodium bicarbonate solution. This works pretty well and it's pretty much it, then just wash it with water.